1.15 p.m. Sunday, Mother's Day. If I were white, fucking hell. Get this, you see black people? You see them, innit? I won't even see them. You see how you don't spot ants? When you're walking, when you're in a hurry. That's how I would treat black people. I pretend I didn't see them, I just walk over them. On their heads, everything. If they're sat at a table, I just walk over the table, stamp on them and walk. Why won't I? Why won't I? Get this. If, if, if I was white, yeah, listen to this. And I scream. I had a vision from God. First, they will all say, shut up. And then I say, but it will save your lives. Can you see you're dying? And then they will say, okay, since we need lives being saved, and you're saying that you can see that your vision can, your vision can save lives. Okay, shut you up. What is the vision? And then I say, okay. The other day, you guys said you wanted to build a cathedral, right? Okay. But I just had a vision last night. And God says that if you build that cathedral, yeah, it will not be in honor of Him. That's number one. And God said, if you build that cathedral, He will be very angry too. And God said, if you build that cathedral, he will burn down the nation. That if you build that cathedral, and even mention it on top of that cathedral, he will make sure that 400 years of slavery was very, very, very little. And he said, if it was true that it was him who gave the builder the inspiration to build him a cathedral, he said, the logic would follow like this. He said, I, God, would say, here are my children. What do my children need in order for them to be comfortable? And loving me. And, and God said that He would say, Hold on, my kids are ill. There are not enough hospitals. So, first, I would have told them build adequate hospitals, build sufficient hospitals. Second, God said, He would have said, but before you build those hospitals, understand that the road that leads from the hospital to the patient and from the patient to the hospital has to be free flowing. Has to be good. Has to be a road called a road. Has to be a road made by engineers has to be a road that saves lives and not endangers lives. So, you will first put in the roads the backbone of the nation. Because he said, I am God and I want this to make my children happy. So, put in the roads, but be strategic about it. Because off the road, which is the spinal column of the nation that I am building for. You will build your little town off what looks like each ribcage. But flow of goods, flow of everything, flow of lives will come off this main route.
my kids will go up and down safely. Secondly, to make sure that my kids understand how to keep this living and how to improve it, I will say they need to be educated on the knowledge that built was there now. So we need to have educational systems that actually work. So then I will tell them, now that the roads are safe, now that we have hospitals to look after the people, now God said he would say, now build the institution that will carry on passing that knowledge down to the children. Now God will say, and now teach the children how to live, how to start early, living, how to start living early how to start living good early so what they can have longevity and then I say in my vision and then God said after my kids have everything they want after my kids get everything they need after everything then I would like to see the results of the chemistry that my inspiration, God, that I gave to my children, created. And now I will tell them to build a place of worship. Because it is at that place they will gather and then I will see them as a community and I will see them together happy. Because I didn't create them to be solitude animals or solitude humans. I created them to be communities and societies, a rainbow nation. And then God said, Now I will say, build me a church. And the church would be simple. It will be ruthless. Because... God is life. In my vision, God said, because I am life. And then he explained to me what life is. He said, you see you, you are exactly the representation within which you stand, within which you breathe. Why? Because you're stood on earth. The you I see is 20% of earth. If you don't eat earth to boost that earth up, you won't grow. So, in my church, you, you need to be connected to that which is you. You need to be connected to earth. So, at the church you're going to build, earth needs to be present in its natural state. And you will need to connect your 20% to the 100% in order to amplify your earth energy. Two. You are 80% earth, sorry, 80% water. I'm telling the dream, I'm telling the vision, yeah. So I'm a human, I make mistakes, yeah. You are 80% water, so build me a church. But this church, there has to be adequate water, life-giving water. Because God is life, and God will meet you nowhere else but under life so i'm explaining life to you as explained to me 80 percent of what you are scientifically is water so at this church of life water will be present air is absolute so at this church of divinity air will have free reign there will be no walls to hold life. That's absolute. There will be no artificial air in the holiest of holiest places where life comes to visit life. So the absolute will have absolute access. Three. Four. The sun, the sun, vitamin D, it is for your growth. Because when you put things in a chemistry pot, 
explain to me. If you leave them in their state as that, they will just rot. But if you add heat, they will combine and release the best of them. So, once you've eaten all those food and drunk all those water and breathed in all that air, the three pillars of life so far, you need the heat, the solar energy, which helps, which, which is, is the final point of bringing the four sides of the pyramid together to create life. Once you have put all these four together, it means you are alive. Well, look around you. You are on earth when you're on the beach. The sea's right there. The air's all around you. And the sun's on top. And in my vision, I said to my white people, God said that the church we need to build it's simple. We just need to clean the holiest of the holiest spots where life lives. He doesn't want a brick to block the air. He doesn't want a door in the way that gives access to some, not all. He doesn't want a roof that blocks the life-giving sun ray. Yes, he doesn't want a window that closes and only allows filthy air to circulate the room. And in my vision, God said, he will be very pissed off with Ghana. If they built the cathedral. If I were white, they will listen to logic. They will say, hold on. As a nation, not all of us are even Christians. Yeah, not all of us are even Christians as a nation. So get this. Shouldn't we take care of the common need first? What is the common need? An ambulance system. Hospitals that serve everybody. Roads that serve everybody. Schools that serve everybody. Infrastructure that serves everybody. And now, and now, God said, He can see that things are flowing. He can see that things are flowing. He can see that things are flowing. And because things are flowing, he can see that his kids are naturally happy. And now, God said in my vision, it would be nice if they remembered that I inspired them and go to the beach and let me see them happy. Why people will listen to the logic in the vision. If we build the roads first, people will stop dying. That will make God happy. If we build the hospitals properly, people will stop dying. That will make God happy. If we build the infrastructure, the schools, education system that actually give education worth giving, that will make our nation strong and that will make God happy. And all these things that will make God happy will naturally make us happy. And once we are happy, I'm sure we can start dedicating to God. But right now, God said, we're, we're walking down the path of death. And whilst we're walking down the path of death and refuse to come off the path of death, we keep calling on to Him. And I said, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the life, and the truth. He never said, I am the way, the death, and the truth. He's saying the way of life is the way to God. Not the way of death is the way to God. The way of life is the way to God. 
my white people with us. Fucking build the roads. Fucking build the schools. Set a mandate that we don't give a fuck who sat on that chair. They will follow this mandate. They will build the infrastructure. They will come and sit on. We don't care. But that's what they will do. Why? But that's what God said will make him happy. If I was white in English, that's all we can do. Because we say, in God we trust. So only what will make God happy is what we would do. And what makes God happy? Life. If I was white, I'd fucking kick black people's asses to kingdom come. And I'd say, I had a vision, I need to do this. Whoa!